So you were saying Christopher Eccleston was the worst doctor? Wait, what? Yeah. Whoa. 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 Hi, guys. Whoa. Whoa. What? Welcome. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that was a little bit of a behind the scenes chatter you weren't supposed to hear. Sorry about that, Nick. I hope <laughs> you don't get any, uh, any, <laughs> anything from that. Welcome, guys. This is uh, supposed to be Monday Night Dungeon Fight, but Tom Lommel has fallen gravely ill. Um, no, he's fine. He's just had a bad cold. Pray for Tom. Um, so, pray for yeah. Tom. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag pray, pray for Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tom's going to be so confused next time he gets on Twitter. He's going to get on Twitter. Why is everyone... What's, you know what? I'm, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to do that right now. Save Let's, little 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 little. Let's get a GoFundMe going. Right. Oh, my God. Just a sad picture of Tom. Put it up there. How um, much chicken soup can one man drink? So this is Roll for Shoes. Surprise. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, welcome. Um, so, Roll for Shoes, as some of you may know or some of you may not know, we'll, we'll get into explaining what it is. Uh, but first, Dom, is there anything we need to announce? Any announcements that are pressing that we have to announce? No, I'm getting that there no, are no, no announcements no. that are up, pressing. No. So, nothing is important, everything right. is meaningless. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us this evening. Um, so, yeah, we are going to be playing a uh, completely improvised game. Um, so, uh, Dom is going to post a straw poll in the chat right now that's going to have three different options for what game we will be playing tonight. I have only uh, submitted those prompts. I have no idea where any of them will go or which one you guys will pick. Uh, you guys that were watching Couples Therapy <laughs> earlier and sent us a deluge of Seriously. prompts. Uh, only one of them made its way onto the list tonight, but I did write them all down. You all saw me do it, so they will they will be used yeah. in the future. While you were getting killed in the game. While I was no, getting murdered cool. in the game. Mm -hmm. um, so while you vote on that, I'll go over the rules with all of these fine people at the table, because only one of them has ever played before, although Nick has observed more than his fair share of Roll for Shoes games. <laughs> more than and that. he now gets to be at the table. <laughs> Woohoo! So, Roll for Shoes. Um, it is very simple. Everyone is just going to write uh, the name of their character on their character sheet. We don't have to do that yet, because we don't know what we're playing. Uh, and you all start with just one skill, which is called Do Anything One. So you can write that down right now. So the way it works, Cancel. Anytime you want to do anything, you you're going to tell me what you want to do, and then you roll a d6. So let's say that you wanted to climb a fence. So you would roll a d6. Oh, you got a 1. That sucks. Uh, and then I'm going to roll a d6. Oh. I got a 6. So you would not climb that fence. You would not be able to climb that fence. But you would earn an experience point, because just like in real life, failure is the best teacher. So you keep those. Let's say you did make it. So if I had rolled a one and you had rolled the six, I could have just kept them there. Here, yeah, I'll switch yeah, them. Whoa. Really <laughs> um, then you do climb the fence. And because you rolled a six, you gain a new skill related to the action that you just tried to do. So you might gain climbing two. So then you would write climbing two on your character sheet. And from that point on, anytime you wanted to climb anything, you would roll 2d6 instead of just one. Uh, so your characters will kind of develop through gameplay, essentially. Um, that's... The bulk of it, really, mm -hmm. that's pretty much well, it. And also, your from climb, you could go up another level and it'd be more specific. So it'd be like climbing fences three. Yeah. And it can go on yeah. and on and on. Thank you. Thank you're you. Welcome. Yeah, it's a good thing you're here. Yeah. Um, and then you can spend experience points at any time to convert one of your die rolls into a six for the purposes of gaining a new skill, but not for succeeding. Was it pray, pray for Tom? Uh, I think yeah. it was Hashtag pray for Tom. Pray for Tom. Hashtag pray for Tom. Yeah. Um, so let's say we, we'll flip those dice around in our minds. I'm just going to keep them right there because it's really far away. Um, <laughs> and we'll say you got the one and I had rolled a six. You could go, well, it's really important to me that I gain a skill in climbing. So I'm going to spend an experience point to turn that into a six so that I can take climbing. You still would have failed to climb that fence, but now you would have climbing two as a skill. Um, and there's a few other situations that will pop up from time to time where we'll have to house rule things because that's just what happens. But that's really the gist of it. Um, for those of you following along with the home game, uh, there are certain donations you can make to affect the game. Not as many as some of our, of our other games because there's not as many mechanics to mess with. But you can donate to change our dice if you really feel like we need that. You can donate for a reroll for either myself or anyone at the table so they can reroll any one die roll that they make. You can donate, if you really hate me, uh, to make me add a random NPC into the game as immediately as I can. And I will roll that NPC's qualities on this random NPC generator. Uh, you name the NPC, you send, you send us the name, and then we'll take it from there. Um, so if you really want to make me you know, do some weird stuff on my feet, that's a good one to do. And then. Wow. That sounded wrong. And then there's the best <laughs> I, Whoa. I don't don't stop what, reading. Right. What sounded wrong about that? What was weird about that? Nothing. Nothing? It's all good. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. um, 
if you really want to, you can roll, you can donate to activate the wheel of genre change. Ooh. At which point we will roll on the wheel and shift the genre of the game to match whatever genre comes Ooh. up. That can be activated multiple times. So if you get tired of that genre, you can activate it again oh, and we'll do something genre. else. Like porn. Uh, porn is not on there. That's a separate wheel that we only break out at home. Um, I, I meant like changing genres, not, for the home not, not like making us watch. Be in a, that was taken badly. Yeah. Get used to He's that. <laughs> and then I think, do we add, do we add that super secret extra um, donation level, Dom? Do we add that one? Super secret. Super what's, the, what's the donation level of that one? Eighty dollars. For eighty dollars. Rather than, rather than bringing a random NPC to the game, for $80, you can bring in a specific NPC to the game. For $80, you can bring in Trumpy McTrollster, everyone's <laughs> favorite odd job having cantankerous four year old. Mm -hmm. um, and he will be added as an NPC to the game, and he will probably have a, a very important role to play in whatever it is we end up doing. He always does. Oh, God. He's an important guy. Yeah. He's very important. <clears throat> Huge hands. So I think that's, oh no, he's different. No <laughs> relation, guy. no relation, different guy. <laughs> oh. um, sounds a lot, sounds very similar. Not at all related. <laughs> I think that's similar everything. Similar to, but legally distinct from. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything. Have we, are we getting, is everyone voting in the straw poll? Because remember, vote, we told vote. you to do that. Vote. So I hope that you're doing it. Uh, yes, people are, <clears throat> are voting. Do we have a clear, a clear pack leader, or do we need to stall for time? Because we could go around and introduce well, we everyone should, at the table. We should table. do that. We should yeah, do that. Yeah. I think we should do that. Let's do that. We'll do stall that. for time. Do it. Do it. Well, I mean, we have a clear leader, oh, right. but let's... That's fine. Let's anyway. stall anyways. Okay. So uh, let's start over here. <clears throat> oh, crap. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never first. Um, I'm Blythe. Hi. I play on Misadventures and Lost Brigade, and now I finally had a Monday night free and decided to be here and meet all the new people. And apparently Dom didn't focus the camera properly. Oh, is that the no. Barbara Walters camera over there? Is that the one, the soft focus? Uh, okay. <laughs> Holy gosh, gee. Nice. So, and who's your favorite doctor? It's a tie between Chris Freckleton and David Tenner. Okay. But I've right. seen right. a good majority of them. Okay. As in, like, the only ones I haven't seen are really six and seven. It's like the two that I, like, have missed a lot on, but I've seen Fair the enough. others. So. A very well-reasoned response to that question, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Who do we have right here? Hi, my name's Colin, and uh, I'm not currently a regular on anything. Here's hoping next season, but you may have seen me on Masks and uh, Maximum Miniatures. Hopefully I'll be on this month's too, because they got me addicted, man. It's a good stuff. It is. It's totally fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, right? And who's your favorite doctor? We're going to ask everyone the same yes, question? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or should we do, just surprise them with or different questions? Or should we ask them what his favorite Star Wars is? Since doctor. that was <laughs> also <laughs> good. Okay, favorite doctor. Yeah, what's your who's your favorite doctor? Uh, when I was a kid, I knew of Doctor Who, but I never really got to watch it, and people tried to get me into it, and I watched that one with the dude in the leather jacket, but honestly, I didn't get it, because one episode he'd be like, hey, assistant, what do you want to do? That's a stupid idea. You could destroy the universe, and then the next episode he's like, let's do this, but couldn't we destroy the universe? Yeah, who cares? Shut up. I'm like, is he like bipolar or something, man? Come on, Sounds dude. Like you'd get it. I <laughs> think that's pretty much it. Yeah. So I think his favorite Doctor is House. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor House. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I do like House. Okay. That's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a good one. Cool. Nick? Uh, I am Nick Levy, a.k.a. Sun Growler. I'm normally running the cameras, everything, on Monday Night Dungeon Fight, but since we have changed up to from Monday Night Dungeon Fight to Roll for Shoes, I finally get to be, other than a disembodied voice, <laughs> shouting out names of skills from the background. <laughs> Um, so I'm really happy to be here, and my favorite doctor is the... Nobody asked you, Nick. <laughs> oh! oh boom. boom! Who's your favorite doctor? Oh. Sorry my, to interrupt your phone. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. My favorite doctor is uh, Tom Baker, Doctor Four, followed very closely by Doctor Ten, David Tennant. Is Four the guy yes. with the scarf? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. God. Yeah. He's great. Woo! Knew that one. Tom Baker's fantastic. All right. I'm Jordan Pridgen. I'm another Jordan. I'm sorry, that guy. Um, and uh, you can see me at Saturdays on uh, Mass, the New Generation. Uh, and last season I was on uh, Dark Sun, which is great. And uh, who's your favorite doctor? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite doctor is Matt Smith, number 11. Mm -hmm. All right. I like him a lot. Nice. nice. Hi. Hi, I'm Megan Caves, and uh, I'm on Black Bag and our Call of Cthulhu game. I'm on Misadventures with Blythe, our 
game that's happening this Wednesday. It's our Harry Potter Pathfinder game. And Couples Therapy, which if you were around today, is Jordan, my uh, co-op gaming stream. And uh, my favorite doctor is David Tennant. I do also very much like Matt Smith. And because I have it, I have to show you. Look at this cool coat. Ooh. It's all Doctor Who. I just got it. I haven't wow. even taken the tags wow. off yet. OK, I'm done. But it's a badass. Oh, OK. <laughs> is Kelsey on misadventures with you guys? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She could be Harry Potter Pathfinder. That sounds Shadow badass. Shadow Shadow Runs. Runs. Okay, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. Oh, I got a new right. wand holder jacket for Wednesday. I'm so excited. Did you get it from Hot Topic? I did. I got it too. And so I got both of those jackets. Same yes. jacket. <laughs> Gonna match, and I got one of the new Jack dresses Bros. that they did for Fantastic Beasts. Dude, I'm so Is excited. Hot Topic was cool uh, no, when I, I was into the raving in the, the 90s, one, so. and now it's today. apparently cool it's again. Still relevant. Which is great. Yeah, because I it went for a while where people did not like Hot Topic. They, they just, they nerd just, stuff, and they just said they did. So something about, I don't <laughs> they, know. They, they pivoted a bit. I, I remember yeah. a South Park episode about Clamato and Hot Topic. Oh, yeah, it was the vampire. Yeah, that was a good one. I I am Jordan Callerman. Caves Callerman? What's my last name? Caves I'm Jordan Caves Callerman. I'm committing to that because um, I'm married now. Uh, and I, I play in Black Bag on Friday nights as well with Megan. Uh, I also uh, sometimes run Roll for Shoes. Um, so <coughs> that's what we're doing tonight. Yeah. And, and my favorite doctor, yeah. Nick. Yes. Who's your favorite doctor? My favorite doctor is also yeah. David Tennant. I'm a big fan of David Tennant. But really, I've, I've, I've found cause to enjoy all of them. I haven't watched any of the original doctors, really. Same. Some, I guess I've watched more than that. Actually, the first Doctor 12. I ever eight. saw was eight. eight I watched good. the made for TV movie when oh, I was a kid, and I was like, what is, is this? This is so I weird. Is that the one where he goes back to the it. planet of the Time Lords? Uh, no. no, that's the one that takes place in America. Oh. Yeah. And, it's ri and, um, and Eric Roberts is the, is the master <laughs> in that one. I really like Paul McGann and was really, 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 really sad when they didn't just use Paul McGann in the 50th anniversary. As much as I love John Hurt, I was like, come on, guys. Paul McGann is a but he did a little. Well, he did a little sense. e short. Yeah, he did. But yeah the, the the little mini Paul McGann episode was like on point. Though. It was. It was really good. Which is why he should have just been in the episode. It was really good. Well, it's a shame. Uh, the biggest the biggest thing for me on the fiftieth is whether you like Eccleston or not. It felt weird that there was not Eccleston? like one line of yes. Eccleston at the very end. Didn't was, didn't I mean, he didn't want to. But was Eccleston leather jacket guy. Yes, yes. yes. that was him. Yes, but he's uh, not. The thing is, I know you him as ears Matt guy. Smith doctor, ears guy. but you. You but, described Matt Smith's doctor and but it was the Eccleston apparently doctor. saw Eccleston. And I'm like, that's how Stephen Moffat writes a doctor. Apparently, I should have gone babies. with the Doctor Who prompt. That was my first night. Maybe you should have. I missed an opportunity to do that. Okay. It was whoever, whoever whoever suggested that in chat, I think it was BSB Care. I'm yeah. sorry I didn't go with that one. This would have been a perfect night. Yeah, but, uh, BSB Care we could have all played our, our favorite doctors. Instead, <laughs> instead, we would we all, all be, be we'd all be David Tennant. No, I should tell you. And Matt's, we have one Matt Smith, Tom Baker. Okay, cool. Well, I have. And House. Nine and, and Dr. House. Dr. House. That would actually be a really good game. <laughs> I should add that to the list. Yeah, put that in instead, <laughs> One instead I need everyone to come up with the name of their imp. You are all minor imps in, uh, in hell. Oh, no. And I, we're going to do something a little different here, because I also need you to come up with what your menial task is that you perform in hell. Okay. So you are all imps. You are the lowest of the lowest of the lowest of the low in demons. Like, right below demon roaches is you. Mm. Uh, and your tasks are are degrading and useless. Uh, nothing about your existence is worthwhile or noticeable or worthy of praise or applause or even a cursory pat on the back, even accidentally. So come up with your imp name and what your terrible job is. And while we do that, um, Dom, can we cut to the to the like? smooth jazz music track, and I'll just stare lovingly into the <laughs> camera. Can you do a slow zoom, too, with that? Is that one from again? All right. Oh, you're done. Okay, good. Okay, wait, one person is done. So we can I start. Can. Right. We'll start going around and introduce. So, so you, I saw pencil down first over here for Colin. So, what is your imp's name? Lotharius. Lotharius. Spelled in the usual way? Yeah, of Fantastic. course. Fantastic. I was kind of thinking lazy. And what is your imp's terrible, stupid job? I have to perpetually clean a floor that is covered in crawling insects without ever being able to actually clean the insects. Ah, like that one Greek oh, myth about the insect floor. Uh, good, good. Got that one. <laughs> Got that one. Uh, who, who else is, is, is completed? Jesus. Are you done? Were you, were you done? I, think, I, thought, I thought Nick was done next. Are you still uh, coming up with your thing? No, I, I, I've got it now. You got it. Uh, I will be playing for Darius. For Darius? Yes. Okay, cool. Sometimes, I know how to spell so, that. Sometimes called by the uh, greater demon's fart. Okay. Uh, and he is the uh, imp of 
of uh, placing gum where you're going to step on it, where people oh. are going to step on it. Okay. Placing gum. I will not explain that further to myself. All right. Uh, Jordan. Uh, okay, my name is uh, Ballwalger Grobert. And uh, my job is making sure that the VHS tapes are not rewound in the <laughs> hellish blockbuster. Okay. Which is doing a thriving, thriving business. Yeah, they only have yeah. um, Hot Tub Time Machine available. Okay. The first one or the sequel? Director's Cut. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's the first one. Good, okay. Actually, no, it's just the sequel. <laughs> And it has special bits thrown in, so you can't fully understand it unless you've seen the first one. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. They've, they've, they've added bits that really tie it in plot-wise to the first right, movie. Right, and taken out a few scenes that they, de they determined were... Okay. Unnecessary. Crucial to the plot. <laughs> yeah. Um, Blythe, are you still, are I you got, still working I got on yours? This. You got, or, okay, know, well, hold on. I'm Megan, what, what's yours? Okay, uh, my M's name is Scrawlgathy. Scrawlgathy? Mm -hmm. And uh, sh she bakes goods to throw into a bottomless pit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nobody eats them. You just go into the bottomless. Makes pit. good. I like the sisyphusian nature we really got. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and then Blythe. All right. <coughs> Who are you rocking so tonight? So I have Quincy or Squee. Quincy um, or Squeak? <laughs> Squee. 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 And they have to continuously serve Doritos Los Tacos to all the greater demons at the Taco Bell drive-through. Okay. Continually serve Doritos Locos. Just the nacho cheese one, or can, is Cool Ranch and uh, Fiery nope, Hot just the nacho on offer? Cheese. Okay. Just, just Why would you get the other ones? Serve. Because they're great. Are, the what? spicy ones are the best. The spicy ones are really good. I don't know. I've only tried the nacho cheese. Continually serve Doritos Locos. I have hey, to continuously give dry diarrhea to everyone. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that up you just a little bit. I'm going gonna, gonna to tweak, I think, both of your, uh, your jobs a little bit. Because yeah. you have actually never even seen a greater demon. Okay. You all okay. have been told that you are in the service of a greater demon. But you have never met this greater demon. You don't know who they are, what their purpose is, uh, if they even know you exist. If they appreciate you, you don't know. Yes, and we know that they don't appreciate us. You're get, I mean, whether you feel that way is entirely up to you. But, I mean, you have every reason to feel that way. So, you are all um, going about your, your daily drudgery. Um, and it's hard to say daily because it just kind of happens continually with no break. Um, but, you know, just as loosely as we can define a day in hell, uh, spelled H-E-L-L, Dom, just so you know. So. Um, I wanted to be clear it was a capital. Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. It was not Norse hell or anything like that. It was just, it was just normal hell. Um, lowercase hell. Um, and all of a sudden, there is the, the ding in the air that you all recognize as a uh, lower planes announcement is, is about to be made. Uh, and the scowling image of a gigantic face appears in the sky above you. You all recognize this as Tom Lommel. Uh, Zen Our Faith has added Tom Lommel as an NPC what? to the game. Pray for Tom. Pray for Tom. Hashtag, Hashtag pray for Tom. Tom. Uh, and Tom Lommel, as you all know by now, having seen his face way more than you'd like to, is a disgusting, huh. accident prone, lesser known god. Yes, of course. Okay. We had to pray to him. Again, pray to Tom. Not again. Disgusting. I'm praying for Tom. Praying for Tom, Tom and praying to Tom because now he's lesser known god. So wait, uh, are we like, are we asking him to take care of himself? Because that feels like praying to somebody to like. No, know. he can't hear you at all. Oh, he does. Right. This is a one-way communication. So you hear the ding. You all know to look up, and and you see his giant face appear in the sky, and he says, ah, bleh, bleh, "Listen up, all you lesser-known puss buckets." <laughs> I'm gonna, whoa, 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 drop the microphone, drop the microphone, hold on, hold on, and his face disappears, and you kind of see his shoulder okay. in, the, in the sky, and then he's, okay, got it, got it. Listen. <laughs> he's got a trail of snot just coming down his face at this point. We're gonna need all of you guys to really put in some extra hours, okay? We got some big wigs coming through hell. We're doing an inspection, okay? And we're gonna need everybody to really just double down on everything that you're doing. It's important. So all of you doing your stupid, meaningless, drivel jobs, like do it really hard and, and good. And uh, Janice, hold on. Janice, not right now. I'm, I'm in the middle of an announcement. Thanks. No, just leave the door open. Sorry about that, everybody. It's been a busy day here. Anyways, uh, keep up the, the good work. Um, you can't tell if that was like an intentional thing that he did to demean you, or if it's just one of those like unconscious things that he's constantly doing with his mouth. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, yeah, carry on, carry on. I'm gonna press the button now, turn this off. Nope, that's not it, not it either. There it is, 
and he's gone. <laughs> well, I so, guess I better bake more baked goods then. Uh, I've only got one VCR, so you can only rewind VHS tapes and forward them. They don't have a forward button, so you, 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 the one I have is pretty old school. I can kind of can't really increase my pace, but I'll try. Chewing gum, placing gum, chewing gum, placing gum, chewing gum, placing gum. <laughs> So you're chewing the gum as you place the gum. Yeah. Okay, well, hold on. So you're rolling. Let's see right now if any of you are actually any good at what your job is. So you're, you're going to bake some more baked goods? Yeah. Do that thing. Bake okay, those baked I'm goods. Gonna so you're going to roll. I did it. Oh. Woo! Oh, Ooh. it's a tie. But so I when you tie, you both succeed a little and you fail a little. So yes, you still gain baking two. Mm -hmm. You have baking two. So you are upping your production on your baked goods, mm -hmm. and you are really able to crank it up. But... You accidentally grabbed baking soda instead of baking powder. Oh, oh no. no! Classic mistake. And everything <laughs> is gonna taste like soap. Just everything. Yeah. That pit is gonna just. Yeah. Yeah. The pit's gonna be gross. The pit will now. Um, don't pour any vinegar in the pit. You are in the middle of trying to <laughs> trying to <laughs> rewind tapes faster. Well, I'm your... actually trying to move forward in tapes because my job is to make sure they're not, not properly rewound. Re right. Rewound. Okay. So you're trying to like, do you have to get all the way to the end, or can you just be anywhere in the middle of you the know, tape? You know, it it should be closer to the end so that if they want to rewind it, it takes them a little more time. But it actually should not be all the way at the end. Okay. Because because then then they know. Right, and then well, if it's all on one side, yeah, they know that can, they have to rewind it. And then also yeah. their VCR might just start the auto rewind cycle. Exactly. We can't have that. Okay, yeah. so roll to see if you can actually do this. Go. Oh. All right. Yes. So you gain um, <laughs> VCR management. Yeah, VCR management right. too. We'll call it VCR management too. I love that. Um, and you are, I'm. You can't really do this any faster, but you're doing it super well. Like all of these. It, it looks like if, if someone's not paying attention, they won't be sure if it's like already almost all the way rewound, or like maybe they need to re they won't know. Yeah. And you take a certain you're, amount you're, of pride I, in that. I, like, I think he's rewinding it right to places where there's already a fade out in the film, so someone puts it in and they think it's rewound, <laughs> and then it starts in the middle of the movie. They'll have to watch about a minute to be sure <laughs> that this is not where it starts. <laughs> right. <laughs> or, is this or, a production or, company's yeah, logo, or, or has the movie started? Or a trailer, move, right? Bro. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, great. Way to go. Um, you are chewing gum and placing gum. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you want me to roll twice? One for chewing gum, no, one for placing gum? No, let's bundle that activity. Okay. Chewing gum, placing gum. Chewing gum, placing gum. <laughs> <laughs> let's not do that. Ooh, now it's going to taste Ooh, like orange juice. Roll for pound cake. Mm. Oh, uh, you yeah. leveled it. it. Wow. Okay. So, um, it's your first day. Uh, you just got here, um, and you were handed your assignment, and you were super excited about it. Um, but you do not know what gum is or how it is supposed to work. So you have all this gum and you're just kind of, they told you to chew it, so you're, you're like put it in your mouth, but you've put like way too much in all at once, so now your mouth is basically over full of gum. And you know you're supposed to place it, but you're having a real hard time getting anything in there to pull any gum out. So you've just got gum everywhere. <laughs> but you also get an experience point. And, and, and what are you up to over I, here? You know, your... cleaning up bug excrement, really, which, you know, if they knew, they'd change it because I love it, but. So wait, hold on. You're not actually trying to clean the insects off the floor. You're trying to clean insect droppings off of the floor? I mean, I'd like to clean the insects so that they stop making the droppings, okay. but they're basically invulnerable to my menstruations. Okay, yeah, all right, that's... so let's let's roll for that uh, Sisyphean task. Oh, man. Lobbled it. Our it's like he's here. It's like, it's like he's here. here. Right? Oh no, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag pray for Tom. All right. Um, so yeah, you are. Wow. You hear the announcement, and you know, you know that your task is hopeless. Yeah. But you'll be goddamned if you're not going to give it your best shot. I think I'm already goddamned. You are. I mean, no, you were yeah, literally, yeah. literally yeah. that that right. way. So, okay. but you're yeah. down there, you know, just shooing bugs out of there. You even for a second, you almost get the entire floor clean before they all come back in and start shitting all over it. <laughs> Um, but you can take a certain amount of pride in that. Like that's that's like your high score so far. So that's really good. It's still more satisfying than being a high school teacher. Hey, I can't I can't say anything about that from experience, but it sounds about right. And then uh, what what skill do I mark this as, by the way? Like, you actually didn't gain a skill. Oh, because uh, you didn't roll a six. Oh, oh, oh! I think you, you just were successful okay, at the thing. Yeah. Right, okay. But you didn't earn a skill. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. And and uh, Quincy or Squee, uh, what am, are you up to? I am. Making sure those Doritos are served to whoever's getting them. I don't see their faces. I don't know who they are, but I'm handing them out to somebody. If you somebody... hand them out a window into darkness, yeah. and they are taken from you. Yep. And you um, sometimes you're spat on. Yep. 
but you don't know, uh, don't know who it is or where it's coming from. Sometimes they spit in their drinks, sometimes, you know, but I am gonna work my dang dist at making sure these Doritos Los Tacos are made to perfection and that they get their drink with it. So you are, your job is to make the tacos or to serve the tacos out of the both. window? You have to do both. I, do, I run the whole Taco Bell. Cool. All right, well then you're probably gonna have to stock up on tacos, so I would say you should roll to make tacos. Oh my God, is anybody else gonna go to a taco after this? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I can't, I can't know the future. What did you roll? These four. cookies are in my way. A yeah, four? four? Okay. So yeah, you are, uh, you are baking up. I assume they bake the Doritos Logos it's taco like, shells. Yeah, probably. Like, in, hell. Hell. Yeah. In, hell. in hell, they're yeah. baked. Because they're, uh, they're healthier that way. The, yeah. When you bake the Doritos Logos. And I've heard worse. that Taco <laughs> Bell is considered one of the healthiest fast food chains right now. Right? I've also heard, heard that, that, and that too. cannot possibly be true. <laughs> You're right. It sounds right? like a lie. <laughs> right? I thought it was the only one after the franchise wars. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Zenar Faith has given me a reroll? This is the only thing. Thank you, Zenar Faith. I the will take thing. this reroll. Everything is a Taco Bell. And I'll put the it right there. The only thing in hell is Taco Bell. All restaurants are Taco and Bell. And the only video store you can go to is Blockbuster. Yep. Oh, God. Yep. Yep. You know, we say that, but I remember when a Blockbuster wow. opened up next to me when I was a kid. I was so excited. Yeah, this was never that kind of Blockbuster. Oh, These Blockbusters no. were never the good ones. This they is were. like, there was a mom and pop owned video store that Blockbuster just kind of slapped their sign on the front of and then ran it completely business as mm -hmm. usual. Um, so yeah, you're baking up a storm. Uh, of all of these 30% uh, less fat Doritos tacos shells. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the whole rack filled. You're doing really well. You're feeling really good about yourself. But then uh, <laughs> another ding of an announcement comes on and all of a sudden Tom Lommel's face back up in the sky. But like this time it's way too close to whatever it is that he projects it on. Oh my gosh, okay, emergency. Everyone, there's been, there's been, a, there's been a really bad thing that happened. Uh, I don't want to go into too many details. I don't want to lose my job. But we need everyone to meet in the central courtyard of hell. You all know where that is. I won't bore you with the explanation of how to get there from where you are. But we need you all to meet there for a general assembly. Everything will be explained when you get there. So uh, drop what you're doing, unless you're not supposed to uh, on pain of your uh, immortal soul. So bring that thing with you, and then everyone meet up in the in the courtyard, general hell courtyard. All right, Tom Lommel, over and out. Nope, I dropped it. Hold on. Done. OK, so I, I, I strap my portable uh, VCR over my shoulder, okay. just in case there are VHS tapes of Hot Tub Time Machine that need to be. Wait a minute, Karen, that you, like a papoose. Do you have a portable VCR? Uh, well, I, I think I we have... should roll for that. I think we should okay. roll to see yeah. if you have a portable VCR. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. I, I guess I do not, you, uh, so I take a regular one. You keep trying to tell your boss that you should, they should really spring for one of those, but they just won't do it. Straps cost money, man, so uh, you can bring it, you want to bring a regular VCR? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> okay, such a cord. okay, because <laughs> as, as it is, the, the halls of uh, oh, the, here. oh Have yes, a, thank you. Yeah. The halls of the hellish uh, blockbuster go on for like basically miles, because it's just, and, and there's signs that say like new releases and like point you down the halls and stuff like that. Uh, and because I don't have a like portable VCR, like a bunch of my day is spent just like walking down the hall <laughs> to like find new things of uh, Hot Tub Time Machine to fast forward. Okay. Um, so I, I, a one that was portable would really make my job a lot faster. Yeah, that's why they um, specifically don't have that here. But I do just grab one that's not portable and just like. It's throw actually. It on top of my I mean, head. yeah, you did fail that. So it's it, not only is it not portable, it's actually a TV VCR combo uh, with a 13 inch screen. Can I still so carry it? You can. <laughs> it's just very heavy. I want to do that. It's very unpleasant to carry. So you carry it and you start heading towards the courtyard of hell using like all the weird arcane back ways that you have to do to get there that we all know about. Yeah. And we'll bore everyone. With also, I should note like. that I've forgotten how I did Bull Walker's voice, so it might change. I think it was like that the whole time. I'm pretty sure it's been this, and it's always been this. It had a weird thing to it, but we'll, we'll figure it out. All right. Uh, and BSB Care, I see that. We're, we're going to get everyone there, and then we'll do that. Um, all right. Uh, so is everyone else? Is anyone else well, doing I, anything I, to prepare before I we go? I definitely. So I, I have to. I have multiple ovens, and I have to turn them all on high because, you know, you got to keep hell hot. <laughs> and i got to add that. That's true. That. Yeah. So, um, and, I, and no one can eat my baked goods. They only go to the bottomless pit. So I'm going to dump them all, but I take the basket because if I come upon any baked goods, I have to take those later to the bottomless Put pit as well. Uh, so, so you have a basket specifically for collecting mm -hmm, those things? Mm -hmm, Are you mm -hmm, sure? Mm -hmm, yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. Let's find out. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, Damn you it. don't. You don't. Uh, actually, what you have to do is you have to eat all of them. <laughs> then when you get back to where you, oh, God, where you are n normally stationed, mm -hmm. you have to purge, reshape that pile into something loosely resembling a baked good, and then right. roll it into You're the right. pit. You're right. You're right. Silly what, me. I feel Silly like whether it's loosely it or not is based on the consistency of the purge. 
It is always way more solid than is comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know. Your what innards can you are do? specially designed for this task. They yeah. are. It's a good task. Wow, man. <laughs> no flinching. Yeah, that's uh, that's the way it works down here in hell. And then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Quincy or Squeak? My my tacos are all on a rack, mm -hmm. so I can wheel the rack with me, and I have a, I have a little portable window that I just smack up places and have to continuously hand them through that window. Okay. Uh, did uh, hold on, I can't remember if your particular Taco Bell sprung for that or not. Because uh, like that was something that all the corporate Taco Bells were supposed to have, but I don't know if your managers adopted that yet. Oh, man. It's not looking good. Oh. Oh. Okay. And you good. get a skill. Um, so this will be, uh, you haven't gained a skill yet, right? No, I haven't. So this is, um, we'll call this portable taco delivery, too. <laughs> Okay. I feel pretty good about that. Um, so yeah, you you is it pedal powered? No, I just I just I have to push it. You have to push it. I have it? to push it. Okay, so you get inside it's of got it. that one wonky wheel. Yeah, it's it's not it's, it's not a good situation. <laughs> yeah. like it's it's just not working. But I have kind of figured out if you like pull it one way, it kind of moves. Okay. So it takes me a little. So like, sort of you have you take an oblique angle to go everywhere that you want to go. Yep. And the window is never properly lined up, so you just kind of have to like sort of contort your body yep. to hand the taco out through it. Yeah. Of course, that's what I assumed. Yeah. All right. You so you start have heading to be towards damn the courtyard work here. But it, but it helps. helps. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god. Are you are you on your way as? Uh, as well? Yeah. I mean, you know, like, but I can't be sure whether there will be insect droppings to clean up, you know, wherever I go. So well, you know, I, there's going to be plenty here when you get back. Definitely, that's for sure. Well, I mean, so I feel like I maybe I need Jordan's you? toothbrush. Wait, you need what? Jordan's toothbrush. Which one? Th this Jordan or this Jordan? You know, let's grab them both. <laughs> You're gonna grab both <laughs> toothbrushes. Yeah. Okay. But do you exist in this world? We'll find out. 